Okay, so you want to create multiple folders based on a list in Microsoft Excel. So these are the folders that I want to create for all the people in my company. Now, in the column next to the column with the folder names, you need to do the following. You type MD, then a space, then speech marks, and then the first folder name. Now, I'm only using speech marks there because I have a space between the first and the last name. If you don't have two words and you don't have a space between characters, then you don't need to use the speech marks. Now, once I have that first example, all I need to do is select that cell, go to the Data tab on the ribbon, and in the Data Tools group, use this button, Flash Fill. Now I can either click on that button or I can use this shortcut key, Control E. So I'll try the shortcut key, Control E, and that will copy the pattern that I've established in B1 down the rest of the column. So then what I need to do is select everything in column B. Now to do that, you could either manually select the cells, but there are some useful shortcut keys you can use. So to select down to the last cell that's being used in this column, I can use the shortcut key, Control Shift, Down Arrow Key. Then I'm gonna copy those cells, so Control C on my keyboard, and then I need to open up Notepad. Now to open up Notepad, go to the Start button on your taskbar, and then in this search bar at the top, just type Notepad. It should appear here in the app list, so click on that. And then in this window, paste in those folder names. Then you need to save this file into the folder that you want to create these folders in. So I'm gonna to go to File, Save As. I've navigated to the folder that I want to create these subfolders in, and I need to give this notepad file a name. So I'm just gonna call it Folder List. You can call it whatever you like but the file extension needs to be BAT. So I click on save, and then I'm gonna close down this notepad file. And you can see this folder list.bat file here. Now all I need to do is double click on that, and all of the folders are created for me. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.